Well, welcome to Old Classic Car, or in this case, Old Classic Pedal Car. And we begin with a wonderful Austin Pathfinder pedal racing car from 1949. Not all of the pedal cars are easily identifiable, so um, I'll do what I can. But if you can add any information, please do so in the comments. For example, this little racing car here, probably 1930s, 1940s, but do you know who made this one? Next up, the first of several Austin J40s. In fact, this isn't a pedal car, technically, this is on a fairground ride. They were available without the pedals and with twin steering wheels for fairground rides in particular. There's a lovely little pre-war pedal car. I'm guessing that's leeway on the badge rather than Lines Brothers, but if, again, if you can confirm or uh, correct this, please do so. There's an interesting little Russian pedal car based on a Moskvich, probably from the 1960s or 1970s. And another wonderful pre-war pedal car. This is Lines Brothers. You can see LIB on the registration plate there. Lines Brothers produced the Triangle pedal cars, of which there are many examples here. And here we've got a Jaguar XK pedal car. I'm not entirely sure that this is particularly old, but it's such a wonderful little pedal car. I just had to include it anyway. This was down at the Haynes Motor Museum. And here's the Austin J40, the Junior 40, of course, based on the Austin A40 Devon of the late 1940s. And here's Joy One, this is from 1946 when Austin first mooted the idea of producing a pedal car. This was a one-off that was produced which led to the J40. This wonderful machine looks like a one-off based on a pre-war Riley racing car. Absolutely stunning, alley bodied, fantastic. A very, very early pedal car here, it appears to be wood in construction. Um, really very early indeed i'm guessing around what late 1800s 1900 or thereabouts another triang stunning little roadster from the 1930s 1940s era if you remember ever having one of these pedal cars please pop a note in the comments and another austin pathfinder these are stunning this was based on the pre-war overhead cam austin 7 racing car and amazing the sales were so flat that they cancelled production after just a year or so a gaggle of pedal cars here in the foreground, the 1930 Triang pedal car. A very nice post-war MG alongside it. A little Brooklyn-style Triang racer next to that. There's another very early antique pedal car, circa 1900 or thereabouts. A little sprung front axle on there. Interesting little pedal car. I think this probably started out as a Triang, but I think it's been modified to look like a Rover. That badge appears to be from a Rover P2. Here's a lovely little sporty number based on a Daimler. Again, Lines Brothers Triang. The registration number is the giveaway in many cases. A side view of a Bugatti, probably a Type 35-ish. Again, another Triang opening door on this particular example. Can you imagine opening that on a Christmas morning? Another very early example here. I do like the SO two gallon petrol can on the running board. Little tipper truck. Does anyone know who made that? This appears to be based on the MGA. This was at the Langothlin Motor Museum. Continuing with these vintage and classic pedal cars, we've got a very rakish looking MG here, a Triang example, very smart indeed, little headlamps, spoked wheels, very very smart, little opening door, and this Triang Vauxhall was spotted at the Morgan, a three wheel Morgan Museum earlier this year down in Kent, fantastic. Another Austin J40. These were produced at the Austin Junior Car Factory in Bargoed, South Wales. Um, produced from offcuts from the Longbridge Austin factory. A couple more interesting ones here. We've got a, something East German, I would suspect, or certainly Eastern European on the left. But what is that one on the right? The brown pedal car. Can anyone identify that one? This looks like a one off based on Malcolm Campbell's Bluebird. Another one at the Langotham Motor Museum. Shades of Van Wall, or possibly Lotus with this one. 
another Austin Pathfinder. Uh, when these were new, they were £25, 4 shillings, and 0 pence, including purchase tax. Many thousands now, of course. The little metal pedal racer here. Well, very sort of Art Deco-ish in design here. I'm guessing this is probably American, but as with all these photos, if you can shed more light on the pedal cars that are featured here, please, please do so in the comments section. There's a barn find Triang, if ever there was one, rather than LIB, it's simply LB on the registration number, but those lamps are the giveaway. This is mine, this I think is a Eureka, French Eureka, based loosely on a Bugatti, but if anyone can um, give me any more information on this I would appreciate it. Here's a leeway pedal car from the 1960s or the beginning of the 1970s, very original example. With a sporty Daimler look-alike, fantastic. Trying again, another trying on the left there. Pathfinder to the right on a J40. Nice little MG TD pedal car. Was that a production uh, pedal car or was that just a one-off that someone's built? This was a one-off. This uh, popped up at a car show just a few years ago. A handmade replica of a pre-war Alfa Romeo. Absolutely stunning. Another one-off here. This was spotted at a car museum a few years ago. Quite a large thing. It's about six foot long this was. It was huge. But, I mean, can you imagine receiving that as a birthday present? There's a two J40s with my old A40 Devon many years ago. And a Vauxhall, you can see the flutes on the top of the bonnet there and the shape of the top of the radiator surround. So that's definitely a Vauxhall made by Triang. I do like the petrol can on the side of that one as well. A variety of period classic toys there with a pedal MG and a very nice little motorcycle above it. Another Triang, little Brooklyn's racer. The exhaust down the side did vary over the years. Um, this is just one of the particular types, but there are different types as you'll see in this collection. And it was the end of the road probably for this very rusty Austin J40 pedal car. In total, I think 32,098 of these were built in all smart, quite a streamlined looking car, I'm guessing Triang. Probably one of the oldest here, this is very very early indeed, circa 1900 I would guess. An early AA badge there as well before the wings were adopted on the top. A pedal aeroplane. Just over halfway through this collection of classic and vintage pedal cars, we've got a lineup of J40s there at the Goodwood Revival for the Setrington Cup, the little race they have for J40s. A trying pedal tractor, this is probably late 1960s, early 1970s, plastic body but still some metal parts, the chassis and the rim are guards and the seats are metal, same for the steering wheel. To the Haynes Motor Museum and we've got a tiny little Triumph Roadster, if you like, probably trying again. Very smart little grill on that. Another sporty number here, I'm not quite sure if this is meant to be based on a particular car, but Triang again. Some of the detailing is just lovely on these, I think. A close up of the dashboard on a pre war Triang pedal car. Tested up the Triang Works, it says. Race prepared J40, you can see the flying A on the bonnets. Only the early J40s had that, they removed those later for safety reasons. There's my old little Brooklyn's Racer Triang, probably 1950s, but older in style than that. Probably 50s, I would have thought. Another pedal aeroplane, this time a biplane. I forget which motor museum this was in, but fantastic to see. Back to the Haynes and we've got a J40 there. The early ones were built from a heavier gauge of steel um, because it used the steel from the actual cars that were being built at the time. Later cars were made from thinner steel so the J40s used thinner steel. And here 
we've got a foreign ride-on uh, motorcycle. Uh, if you can shed more light on that, I can see a name on the side of the engine there. Another Austin Pathfinder racer. Like I say, these were only produced for about a year in 1949 to 1950 and were dropped in preference to the J40 because the latter sold well and the racer didn't. And here we've got a plastic Jaguar E-Type. There's a handsome old Triang. Again, you can see the LB for Lines Brothers on the radiator there. The radiator surround looks very much like that of the Austin 7 Swallow. Side view, another Austin J40. This was down at Gaydon at the British Motor Museum. Lots of goodies in the background. The pedal Vauxhall, a vintage Vauxhall pedal car. Again, Triang, a handsome machine. Another interesting little pedal car there, Lines Brothers, as so many of them were, uh, alongside a rare air-cooled Rover 8. There's another J40 head-to-head -head with uh, my old A40 Devon on which it was based. The J40 is actually continued in production until 1971. Now this isn't technically a pedal car, this had a small engine, the Atco Junior Trainer, designed to introduce youngsters to the theory of how to drive an actual car itself. An interesting little TR3 pedal car, probably not that old, but a great item, so I thought I'd include it here. Still quite a few pedal cars to go in here. We've got a World War II era Jeep, Another J40, this one attached to the roof of a minivan, prepared for the racing at the Goodwood Revival by the look of it. Can anyone tell me who made this one? It looks like it's based on a Mark 1 Ford Zephyr, loosely. This one we spotted it at the side of a road for sale in Portugal. There was a little building with a few old cars and motorcycles and this was on the floor. Very rusty, but does anyone know who made it? This is at Langothland Motor Museum. This was built after the war from various aircraft parts. There were Spitfire tail wheels and spinners from a Bristol bow fighter were used in its construction. Absolutely a one-off. And also at Langothland was this Austin Pathfinder. What a fantastic pedal car that is. If anyone's got one that they don't want, please let me know. Here's a period advert for the Pathfinder Special Pedal Car. £25, 4 shillings and 0 pence. Carriage round England and Wales was a further 10 shillings. Pressed steel bodywork and cream. That's followed. This was spotted at Prescott a couple of years ago. Another Bugatti. Very smart detailing on those front axles and hubs. Another Triang Racer. This shows the other style of uh, exhaust with the four downpipes on the side of the engine. A VSCC Prescott pedal car race. There was this one off. It looks like a fairly recent build, but very much in the old style. I do like all the louvers down the side. And back to Goodwood for the last of these classic pedal cars. This is a J40 that uh, competed in the Setrington Cup. And that is the last of the pedal cars to feature in this short video. I hope that was of interest. If you like your pedal cars, please say hello in the comments. Um, even if you just like full-size cars, hopefully this was still of interest. Uh, plenty more videos on the channel and more due very soon. So thanks for watching and bye for now.